Okay, we're in, boys. Bosco! Free anti-mind control helmets for the first 50 lunatics to come out of hiding! I've been telling you, little pals, he's just plain vanished. We'd better look around the joint for clues. Good plan, Sammo. Guess that's why they call you guys in for the brainy stuff, and leave the senseless violence to the likes of me. I deeply resent that comment, Mr. Paper. Yeah, Flint. We're gonna have to join together and use every detective skill we know to find Bosco. Well, that's a no-go. Any more ideas? Hmm, let me think. I've always wondered what Bosco keeps hidden back here. I've always wondered if he's wearing pants back there. It's Bosco's My First Moai Head toy. All right, let's have a look at your x-ray, Mr. Moai Head. We'll see what's causing that persistent tinnitus. Prognosis, Sam? Either this toy has a tumor the size of an overfed cat, or it's too dark to read it. Hmm, it looks like... Say it? It looks like Bosco's as clever as you are at cutting-edge intellectual humor. <laughs> you gotta admit, that is pretty funny. You did it, Sammo. Let's check in the bathroom for more clues. Let's see if there's anything in the bathroom to tell us where Bosco's top secret bunker is. Or maybe the bathroom is his top secret bunker. This is exactly where I'd want to spend an apocalypse. I sense that something terrible happened here. Ho oh, ho, you don't know the half of it. The Bosco Tech Drain Liberator 6000. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Not after seeing what it did to that sludgy delivery guy. The sound alone still haunts my nightmares. Hot toilet wine. Everything Bosco would need to survive for months. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley. Woof! Nippy Valley woof. For party time or any time. Some idiot left the cork out, Max. It turned to vinegar. What was that for, Sam? That barrel was looking at me funny. and the school board said our cases had no educational merit. Do it again! Do it again! What's that noise? They've come for us, Max. It's T-H-E-M. Good! About time we found out who's responsible for this travesty. Hey guys! <laughs> Look, I can explain. Did you get a haircut, Bosco? There's something different. Finally see a doctor about that, uh, personal problem? You guys done? Yeah, that's all we got. Good! Now shut up and help me! What seems to be the problem, Bessie? That... Uh, that elevator over there? It's horrible! I went inside looking for T-H-E-M, but when I got out, I saw my mother! Gah! Oh, it gets worse. I ran out of there fast as I could, and when I came out, I was like this! 
You gotta fix it, guys! What is this place, Bosco? You guys still don't get it? This is it! The center of the entire operation of T-H-E-M! Kinda sparse for the headquarters of a sinister cabal bent on world domination. You don't need much room when you can go anywhere you want through time and space. What are you doing on an alien spaceship? I got tired of being scared of T-H-E-M. I finally said, bring them on! I built this device that lets me predict where they were gonna show up next. Then I let them come on and take me! So, did you get udders, or are you a boy cow? That's none of our business, Max. What happened next, Bosco? I used the device on myself, you know, to test it. After that, it's all a blur. Where's this THEM detector device you were talking about? I don't know. I must have lost it in that elevator after I got turned into this thing. The place seems pretty empty. Where are THEY hanging out? I don't know, but you can bet they're around here somewhere. Just waiting to probe us and turn us all into freakish animal-human hybrids! Bosco, Sam is standing right here! What's with all the volcanoes back in your store? Guys, guys! Try to keep up! Haven't you figured anything out yet? The volcano is what summons the spaceship, fools! Sam, is it my imagination, or are we being scolded by the guy who's half cow? Don't go anywhere, Bosco. Now where am I gonna go looking like this? Help me get back to normal, guys. Normal? <laughs> we'll get you back the way you were before, but uh, we're not promising more than that. It appears to be made of the finest leather from only the finest in mutilated cattle. Don't joke about that! Hey, Max. What do you think this thing is? Calibrating. Complete. I now have mastered your primitive but no less valid language. Please choose from the following topics of conversation. What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Passive aggressive. Selection acknowledged. I'll just alter my entire personality matrix to make you more comfortable. Who are you? Oh, nobody. Just the one who controls all functions of the ship's computer. That's all. Where's the crew? Oh, I don't know. They're off somewhere, leaving me to take care of everything. What happened to Bosco? Oh, he just interfered with causality, leaving it for the rest of us to clean up. How do we use that elevator? Just print out a time card whenever it's convenient for you. Don't worry about wasting paper or anything. We'd like to get a time card, please. I cannot print a time card until the captain chooses a destination. So long. Fine. Leave. It's not like I was still talking. Bosco's again? How'd we end up back here? Judging from the lack of safety railings and ready availability of guns and ammo, I'd say we've gone back in time. Seems to be some time in the early sweet mother of mole sauce. You fools gonna buy something, or do you want to make a baby? Well, uh... now, you must be Mrs. Bosco. That's Ms. Bosco. I don't want any part of your oppressive patriarchy. Fair enough, ma'am. Miss, you... Who are you? Sam and Max, freelance police. Finally, the police. Maybe you can help me catch that fool. Which fool did you want us to catch exactly? That, that man who just came in here yelling about conspiracies and busting up the place. Bosco always did know how to make a memorable first impression. Can you tell us more about the man who trashed your shop? He took one look at me and screamed. That should narrow the list of suspects down to any man with eyes. Then he stumbled back and ran right into my baby maker. Ouch! We can't take the case, but we'll keep an eye out for your vandal, Miss Bosco. I swear if I ever find him, I'm gonna make sure he gets no pleasure in this life. Ah, uh, I haven't heard a tale of motherly love like that since the Manchurian Candidate. What was that you said about making a baby? I'm made uncomfortable by this line of questioning, Sam. That's just because you're scared of a world where career-minded women don't need to be tied to a man to have a family. This ain't the past anymore. It's the 1960s. They can talk about putting a person on the moon, and I can invent a baby-making machine. Well, how does this baby-making machine work? 
You just take a DNA sample from the mother and the other person and combine them in that machine. Let it bake a couple hours and you've got a beautiful baby girl. Or boy, I guess. I've already got my own samples in there. I'm going to test it out tonight after closing. Uh, how do you get the DNA samples? Isn't that obvious? Saliva, fools. Well, naturally. Oh, of course. Where'd you get the father's sample? Oh, him. Well, I was just in Washington, D.C. for a special occasion, and when I was touring the White House, I met a nice man in a dark suit. He was polite and didn't say much. Seemed like his spit was as good as anybody else's, so I picked him. We're here to help your son. I don't have a son. You think it's not enough I'm a businesswoman, an inventor? A woman's only useful if she's got a son. It's not that. We're friends with him. Well, acquaintances. We know him. We've spoken to him more than once. Doesn't matter. I'm not defined by my children. But when I do have one, she's going to be the most perfect little angel. See you later, Miss Bosco. We're going to pick up some swinging 60s chicks and start a groovy hullabaloo. Men. Cut it out, Max. You don't even like girls. Oh, right, right. You got a problem with women? Nah, just never interested. With all the general malice I have to get done in a day, girls are just a huge waste of time. I have never been as turned on as I am right now. Uh, what? You just never found the right woman, and I never found the right man. Forget the baby maker. Catastrophic temporal anomaly detected. Run away with me, Max, my white stallion. Curse my irresistible animal magnetism. I'm president of the U.S., and you'd make a lousy first lady. You just don't know what you want. I may not be the first, but I'm the last lady you'll ever need. Look, lady, you just don't get it. I'm just not into you. Keep on protesting. It just makes me know you're the one. Hey, Max. Remember that old carbon dater we got from Sybil last year? Yeah, we gave it to Bosco so he could keep scanning his weenies. Looks like he's made some, uh, modifications to it. Hmm, it printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Sounds intriguingly futuristic. It printed a time card with Stinky's logo on it. Looks like a weird bread-making machine. Don't be silly. That's my baby maker. You take a spit sample from the mother and one from the father, mix them together in that machine, and then out comes a happy little bundle of perfection. Finally, somebody explains how that works. That's not the generally agreed upon method, Max. This sample has been completely contaminated by milk. It'll have to be replaced. Hmm, what's this? It's my chemical sampler. Get somebody to spit on it, and it gives you a sample test tube for the baby maker. Mind if we borrow it? Go ahead. I already got all I need. Hmm, a nice aged bottle of Nippy Valley brand vinegar. Ah, oh, some idiot left the cork in, Sam. It's still wine. Let's just let that breathe for a few decades, Max. What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. What do you think you're doing? You know, the usual. Traveling through time and stuff. Override. You've caused a catastrophic temporal anomaly. You're going back to the ship so you can think about what you've done. Just look at what you did. Sam, what's a catastrophic temporal paradox? That! What the hell did you guys do? Max, when you made Mama Bosco decide not to have a baby, that meant Bosco was never born. But if Bosco was never born, then we never would have gone back to meet Mama Bosco in the first place. Neat! 
Are you fools just gonna stand there explaining everything? Or are you gonna fix me? Sheesh! Give a guy a cool cow body, and all of a sudden he's the owner of the time stream. Sam, more visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. Hey, your future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day. Comically backwards past versions of ourselves. Nah, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly, so that your 21st century brains can understand. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you, if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's asking for it. Well, okay. In the future, we can make phone calls to other people, even when we're not at home. My God! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats. What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28000 line? Well, of course! Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot, Max. You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, oh, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? If you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <sighs> well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rigel 17 <laughs> Boost a rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Bosco, Bosco. Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? No. Oh, I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Yes, dear stupid past Sam, but of course now we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Stinky Corp. What's Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam. These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp. I don't feel like playing darts right now. Yes. Well, anyway, Stinky Corp is the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. Stinky made enough money from her diner to take over the world? No, no, cretinous Max. From her super adhesive. What's this about stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. It's made from mole men. Be seeing ya. So long. That's how we say goodbye in the future. The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? It says, Stinky Stick Tight Adhesive, based on an old family recipe. Number one throughout the entire galaxy, with secret ingredient Bitumen 13. It can't be all that big a secret if it's on the poster. Maybe secrets are different in the future. High-tech rats. What future dystopia is this? What do you two want? It's the one true stinky! Are we glad to see you? Why? Still, it's a new person to talk to. Look, Sam! It's us as impressionable preteens! Exceedingly well done! Hi, Stinky. Are you the parents of those two parasites? Well, not exactly. Although we do still have a time machine, so I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility. That's gross, Max. I'm just saying. 
we bring a warning from the future. In about 25 years, you're going to be murdered. Murdered my swollen pancreas. I once wrestled four rabid grizzlies while standing on the back of a rutting alligator while being pelted with karate-tipped darts and fighting off a case of irritable bowel syndrome. I'd like to meet the man who could murder old Stinky. Hi, I'm Max. Honest, Stinky, we're detectives and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get offed. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter Mike left pallet. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. Hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're going to have to get on that pretty quick. We're from the Public Health Board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. Government types. Pah! Weak and pathetic, the lot of ye. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip-flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! <laughs> So, are you going to show us to our table, or what? We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with... What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when I've got so much cooking to do. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud, knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! Nutmeg. You're both wrong, and you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. Thanks for the chat, Stinky. I just go away and die. But most of all, thanks for just being you. It couldn't hurt to take just a sample. We should have those results for you in about a week, Mr. Cake. Now, turn your head and cough. Can I borrow that screwdriver? Well, as long as you promise to bring it back. I hate to think what would happen if I had to stop working on computers. Uh, yeah, uh, sure thing, kid. Check this out. It's from 1963, and it's signed by the president. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight at Stinky's. Wear that dress I like, the one where I can see your... Holy... I didn't think they knew that word back then. The president's wife wasn't named Maxine. What is this, the Temperance League? Lighten up! Looks like this case has a screw loose. Max, distract Stinky for me. Oh my god, look, Stinky! Yeah, what, what? Somebody's trying to break into your display case! Da. Real smooth, little buddy. Hey, little guy. What are you scamps up to? I'm only playing Bluster Blaster, the newest and best video game ever made, duh! Nice try! What's so great about this video game? Are you kidding? This game is the only thing that really understands me! You rock hard! See what I mean? Just say no, little buddy. Word up! Sam, it's my summer office. I don't think so, Max. Take a look around. Welcome to the Oval Office, visitors. Next tour begins in 30 minutes. This is a long time before the horrific sequence of events that led to your presidency. I'm not leader of the free world here? 
This will not stand! Hi there, random Secret Service agent. I can answer any of your questions. Please don't touch anything. I'm Agent Superball. Superball? It's a code name, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. In the future, we know a guy who looks just like you, with the same name. I've never seen you before, and there couldn't be another Agent Superball, sir. The code names are unique. Oh, Super Bowl! I get it! How long have you been working for the White House? Just a few months. I've already been assigned my first door. That's all you do? Guard this door? Not at all, sir. I also provide tours, run the patent office, and narrate public service announcements. That's a lot of work for one man. I'm still new. In 40 years, I'll be promoted to receptionist. Where's the president? He's in the war room. Important national crisis. And when I said national crisis, I meant to say he's just watching television. We are not at the brink of war with Cuba. All right, Sam, our mission is clear. Nuke the commie bastard! I bas think we've seen enough of the war room for one lifetime, Max. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Having to hurt people from a distance takes all the fun out of it anyway. Did you see a strange woman in here a while ago? Assertive career woman, asking everyone to spit. That's the one! Yes, sir. I admired her independent spirit and sass. We need your help with something official. What will it be, sir? We want exclusive rights to produce our latest invention. We wish to crush competing inventors to see them driven before us and hear the lamentations of their patent lawyers. Very well. What'll it be? We'd like to patent our tar cake recipe, Super Bowl. It's a special recipe we made up ourselves, and anybody who says different is a damn liar. I see. And what ingredient makes that a unique invention? Vitamin 13. Very well. That seems to check out. That patent grants you exclusive rights to make, market, and improve on your invention. This must be just what Thomas Edison felt like. Minus the stealing and time travel, of course. Oh, Sam, you're so naive. My dearest Maxine, meet me tonight. <laughs> Tender caresses down your... <laughs> and a donkey. Love, the prez. That's very shocking, sir. Where were they going to meet? Inside Stinky's Diner. <laughs> Stinky's? I can't believe the president would eat at Stinky's. I've lost all respect for the man. It printed a time card with our logo on it. Should be plenty of DNA-rich spit left on this envelope. The president's a very thorough liquor. Whoever chose this lamp was taking liberties with the concept of good taste. Heaping helpings of tachyons in a gravy boat at the Grand Duchess's Bat Mitra. What disgusting hellhole have we ended up in this time? Looks strangely familiar, like... Super Ball. I'm not here, sirs. You can safely ignore me. Done. Max, have you been sending Boxy Betty hey. to... Hey! What? Hey, buddy! Throw us that remote control, would ya? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. It's for the good of the future, Max. Time stream's been altered. Again. We have to insist that you cease and desist all future production of gooey molasses tar cakes, Mr. Stinky. We're not angry at you for stealing from us. Just very, very disappointed. Poppycock! That recipe's been in my family for centuries. The U.S. Patent Office says otherwise, Gramps. The U.S. 
patent office can my pus filled actually i don't believe that falls under their jurisdiction fine i'll throw it out time stream's been altered again Wow, I've never seen anything that advanced. It must have at least 640 kilobytes of RAM. Yeah. Whatever, kid. This is exactly what I needed for my video game. I'll just download the AI. Yeah, you do that. Then go outside and play or something. Fine, shoot all the bad guys. I'll just have to make more, but <laughs> no problem. Bitchin! You made the game even friendlier! The personality matrix is rejecting the new programming. I'll change it back. Nice try! You almost hit it! That's better! What are my options? My personality can be configured to respond in the style most appropriate to the user. Please choose from the following options. Abusive. Good choice, moron. Did you come up with that yourself or did your idiot friend help out? So long. Get lost, failure. Boo! What did you say? Take another look at this talking computer dingus, kid. Thanks, mister. Oh, my fail! Shut up! Three is again! Uh, you broke the game, Sam! Nuh-uh, I made it better. Go back to your name, Grandma! This, like, totally blows now. Let's go to that dance and make the moves on some chicks. But I was going to Penn Station to pick up some power converters. Beat it, nerds! Make sure you check out the snack table, little me. If I remember correctly, the pigs in blankets were decadent. Time stream altered. Jackass. So, Max, feel any different? I feel like it's been too long since the Maxinator taught a lady what sweet, sweet love is all about. Let's motor so we can pick up some primo early 80s tale, bro. Well, hello, Miss B. Did it get freaky sexy in here, or is it just you? What'd you do to my Max? The better question is, what is your Max gonna do to you all night long? Don't look at me, Miss Bosco. He's been like this ever since we were kids. Why don't we ditch the pooch so you can give me a special tour of the store? I've been wanting to see what you've got round back. <laughs> I thought you were different, Max. That does it. I'm done with all of you men. Temporal anomaly corrected, jackass. Time stream altered, jackass. Looks like we did a pretty good job patching up that cigarette burn on the fabric of reality. Yeah, that's right, ladies. Come on up and give Daddy Max Time Fixer some sugar. You're a lovably lecherous tool, Max. There, Sam and Max. Now you've seen just how dangerous it is to mess with T-H-E-M. Dangerous? All that stuff we just fixed was your fault. Shut up! All right, let's go home. How do we get out of here? Duh! They know we're here! Relax, Bosco. You're gonna have a coronary. 
Yeah, they're probably the grotesque but misunderstood kind of aliens, who just come to Earth because they hate cows and fields of weed. Well, you two go first. Crossing 98% complete. Prepare to deliver on my mark. <gasps> it's... it's... T-H-E-M! Oh, benvenidos, amigos. Ah! What are you guys doing here? We can explain everything, weakly and simply. No, that is not our way. <coughs> Yo soy el mariachi solitario The last in a one's noble line My people care only for robots and Martian invaders but for birthdays they say, maybe later we don't have the time. Mariachi, I, 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 I come back from the future and pick up young versions of me. In our spaceship, I, 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 I we set course through the time stream and feel Gringo's birthdays with glee. No! Por favor, don't freak out if you see Mariachis extraños. It's just me and mis vatos who wish you feliz cumpleaños. Ah! But spaceships like this are expensive. Even more when they travel through time. And singing for birthdays on spec makes us poco dinero. So we took on a contract and that's our new boss to co Mariachi, ay, 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 ay. We take souls of the damned and we send them to places on I don't want to go! Through that portal, ay, 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 ay. Although first we must crush them with gigantic heads made of stone. Our lives suck. Where they go, we don't know. But it's hard, maybe no! it's a we still get to sing, no importa nada. When we say adios, we'll be sad, but we'll try not to cry. We were there for your birthday, we'll see you again. When we die. Uh-oh, the cowman has had a heart attack. Oh well. Begin the soul crouching. So, as I was saying, we had to sit and stare at nothing for one thousand years straight. Help me, Sam and Max! Putting course on screen. Hefe's log. We are on course for our most difficult mission yet. Triplets! Keep the time shuttle open for emergencies while I figure out how we tackle this. The most dangerous boss day. Whatever. Issuing time card for Embarrassing Idol. It has the Embarrassing Idol logo and more of those strange numbers. Trippy old hunk of moon. Oh, man, that song is even worse than I remembered. So I can't I believe I voted for you. Keep it down, Max. We don't want to mess up time any more than we already have. You really nailed that high note. Whoa. And you're less sloppy than my brother is. You've got my vote. Hey! All of the remaining judges have agreed. We have a winner. No. Congratulations, Sam. Here's your recording contract. Bin Bottom Records. It's like a dream come true. Specs, I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Right after I get back from Mount Rushmore. Rushmore? I'd better go after him. I just remembered. I have to feed my goldfish. Are we still taping? Uh, be sure to join us. That's our cue, little buddy. Sick him. Sam and Max. Listen to our words. Hey, look, Sam. Doppelgangers. 
Who are you clowns? We're you guys from your distant future. Heed our dire warnings. I always thought I'd be taller. What are you guys doing here? Congratulations on your recent embarrassing idol victory. Now hand over that contract. No chance. We need it. But that's supposed to be my contract. I won it fair and square. And I helped them cheat. Forget it, clones. That contract is ours. Now take a hike. Beware Santa Claus. And Mr. Spatula. And Hugh Bliss. Actually, a lot of people have tried to kill us. This could take a while. Nonsense. Yeah, all those guys are our friends. Let's get back to our time machine, Max. Yeah, I've seen more than enough of this place for one lifetime. Time machine? Oh, cool. Where to, little buddy? Just hit random buttons. Well. So, that's bad, right? Yep. Oh boy! In the future we've got our own spaceship! And our own industrious and no doubt completely legally hired crew. Incoming delivery. Entrega entrante. You... jerks! You made us go through the last year and a half all over again! Stand aside, decadent future versions of ourselves! Yeah, we've got a very important case to solve here. I want to ask, ask you something. something. Hey, pal, I'll ask the questions here. But, oh, all right, go ahead. What is he waiting for? Be patient, Max. It takes a while to think up the right thing to say. Max and I have to get to the moon. How do we get there? You need a time-traveling phone booth. All right. Where do we get one of those? Ask Agent Superball in the future. What is this place? This is not our beautiful house. How did we get here? Do I know you? Like a brother. Weren't you going to ask me something? How to get to the moon, for instance. Oh, right. How do we get there? You need a screwdriver. All right. Where do we get one of those? We've got one. We'll trade you for a recording contract. Hey, Sam, don't we have a recording contract? Yeah, but we need it for... Um... Uh, huh, I can't remember. It must be important, or we wouldn't still be carrying it. You kept it so you could bring it to us, right? I guess so. Along with that carton of missile pops you promised. Don't push it, Max. All right. Here you go. Well done, Sam and Max. That was the last of your quests. You have scored 234 out of a possible 500 points! Weren't you gonna trade us something? Uh, yeah. Uh, here's that screwdriver you guys wanted. Goodbye! We'll never forget all you've done here today! Have fun on the rest of your adventures. I'm even more confused than usual. That is no place for a screwdriver. Hey, Mac, which one of the mariachis are you? Oh, yo no soy mariachi. Soy capitán. Soy capitán? Soy capitán. The mariachi says he is the captain. Yeah, I think we got that. Thanks. Who are you guys? We're Sam and... <gasps> Wait, not the Sam. You know who I am? Of course, you're the famous recording star, no? Well, I don't like to brag, but... It is you. No one believed you could have a career with no talent at all, but you proved us all wrong. You're a hero to all of us who wish to sing. You must be a great singer if you're the captain. I could escape this two-peso operation and become the greatest singer time has ever known. If only I could ditch this dead weight. Rivalry! Now it's getting interesting. You want to start a solo career? See, si, but that can never happen as long as we keep singing for the birthdays. How will I get my big break? You've got to set Bosco free. Oh no, senor. No one can enter the soul-crushing area once the protest has started. The rules, they are very explicit about this. This is all your fault. You're the ones who killed Bosco. That is ridiculous. Wait. You aren't going to sue, are you? Your singing scared him to death. It was a pre-existing condition. I have the weaknesses. We'll let you go this time, but only because we respect your methods. Here you go, Captain. 
your ticket to musical stardom. My very own recording contract. Now I can ditch this dead weight and become the international superstar. A mariachi superstar. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh, no, senor. Mariachi music is all news. I'm going to sing songs about trains. Finally getting the hang of this time travel stuff. Let us change the course of time without fear or confusion. Let's change the... The official date has been changed. So it is written, so it shall be. Hey, Super Bowl, what day is it today? It's the 6th of September, sir. It's my birthday. I said, it's my birthday. Sorry I'm late, amigos. Did someone say, birthday? Wait up, guys. I'll be there in just a minute. Oh, no. Gracias for the song, senor. This has been the best birthday ever. Local mariachi Pedro died this week due to complications from inhaling ink ribbon fumes. What a waste. Good news, senor. We found the gruesome details of your horrible demise. Oi, what a stupid way to die. Uh, I can think of stupider ways. And I could help. Kind of makes you want to quit your job, huh? Oh, no. There are still so many big questions I want answered. But screw that stupid printer. It's some weird alien device that... Oops. Ay, not again. Just leave it. Seems like everything on this ship just falls apart these days. Hmm, it looks like some kind of futuristic low-tech printer. Nobody's gonna need this worthless ink ribbon. Hey, you can't just throw litter into the time vortex. Yeah, Sam. Somewhere a time-traveling Native American is crying. Where did it land? At the rate we're going, carry the trace. Last month at the castle in Germany. We'd like to get a time card, please. Issuing time card for embarrassing idol. It's blank. So long. Get lost, failure. Whee! Just look at it, Max. Eh, uh, what am I looking at exactly? Everything. Our entire universe, before the creation of matter and energy and quantum particles or something. It's at this spot that everything you know, or will ever know, 
will be Mr. Featherly. Oh, hey guys. Mr. Featherly? Sam and Max? Are you really the oldest living creature in existence? Or are you the last of a race of terrifying elder gods bent on restoring chaos to our upstart universe? Neither. I assure you I arrived here quite by accident. How'd you get here? I was filming the climactic volcanic eruption scene in Midtown Cowboys, the motion picture. Suddenly, I found myself abducted onto some type of alien spacecraft. After a frightfully amateurish song and dance number, I was deposited unceremoniously into the beginning of the universe. Oh, that old story. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Midtown Cowboys movie? Uh, yes. Well, I'm sure we were going to call you, but we decided to go in a different direction. Oh, we have got to get a new agent, Sam. Why don't you come with us, Mr. Featherly? I'm sorry. I can't let you do that, Sam and Max. That chicken is the source of all life in the universe. Removing him would cause a catastrophic temporal paradox. Catastrophic temporal paradox! <laughs> Mr. Featherly's not the only chicken around here. Hmm, apparently I am. And there's the rub. See you around, Mr. Featherly. Probably not, Sam, since he'll be long dead before we're even born. Oh, right then. Hang loose, Philo. You've been doing a good job, Mr. Featherly, but we decided to cast someone younger. Very well. As long as I can leave this accursed... Uh, wait, what are you doing? Put me down at once! Suck it up, Featherly. It only takes a day or two to get used to Sam's caustic B.O. Curse you, Max and Sam! Time stream altered. Jackass. Dear God, man, do you ever wash that coat? ¿Qué onda con el pollo? He's from before time began. Yeah, turns out the chicken came first. Hmm, it makes no sense. If that's the chicken, what's there and now? Well, we left an egg. Like the story. I'll have to see that egg. But, 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 I'm just kidding. Boy, you past people are so gullible. Wait, 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 no! Don't put me back in there! Any more questions about the nature of our existence? No, the chicken was the big one. Vaya con Dios, Maxi Sam. Woohoo! Now the spaceship is ours to command! Ensign Sam, set course for ancient Rome. Our mission? To hug Caligula! Stop goofing off, Max. We've got to extend that bridge and return Bosco's soul. What? What's happening? I don't want to go! Whoops! Great. Now we'll have to figure out how to get all up in there. Attempt to enter soul crushing area. Please acknowledge. We got rid of them all. Just make with the bridge already. All right, all right. Extending bridge. Hola, Sam and Max. You don't know us, but we are time traveling mariachis. With a warning from the future. Whatever you do, do not extend that bridge. Bridge extended. Uh oh. Foreign body in time vortex. Self destruct sequence engaged. Madre de Dios! Let's get out of here! We could cover some more birthdays. Okay, Pedro, you take the bog in the diner. Pedro, you take the statue loving lady on Easter Island. I'll take the monster. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Maxi Sam. Setting course for the beginning of the universe. Total destruction imminent. Please evacuate immediately. So, Sam, is now a good time to start pulling my hair out and wetting myself in panic? Knock yourself out, pal. Better hurry, though. Hmm. 
Hmm, the soul vacuum's only strong enough to suck Bosco's corpse up halfway. They can make a time-traveling spaceship, but they can't invent an interdimensional portal that doesn't lose suction. So I say, no, I'm not going to start an earthquake, and he's all. Approaching beginning of the universe. Destruction imminent. Go, little buddy. It's now or never. Where do you think this portal goes? Anywhere that's not on a spaceship set to self-destruct and hurtling towards the beginning of the universe. All right, Sam. If this doesn't work, I'll see you in hell! Thank you.